All right, so growing up, my mom would say, take your vitamin C, go to bed, if there was anything wrong with us. Uh, missing limb, take your vitamin C, go to bed. Just kidding, mom. But, so online it seems like, if you have any plant problem, just go ahead and add Epsom salts, or coffee grounds, or eggshells. It's gonna cure everything. Well, I'm here to give you the lowdown, the truth about those three. Yes, there's some science um, behind it, but let's start first. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show you this bag right here. This bag is a fertilizer bag that we use in one of our fertilizer tanks at the conservatory where I work. It's magnesium sulfate. Right here is Epsom salts I bought at the grocery store. It's magnesium sulfate. So wait, what? Yes, Epsom salts, it's a fertilizer. And you know what happens when you add too much fertilizer when you don't need it, you could burn plants. What also happens when you add too much magnesium is you could bind up your calcium, which is a really important uh, nutrient. All these are. Uh, magnesium is incredibly important. It's used to uh, build chlorophyll and used in a lot of plant functions. A deficiency, if you have a deficiency in magnesium, sort of mimics iron and manganese deficiency where you'll have green veins, uh, the surrounding part of the leaf will turn yellow and then the whole entire yellow will, uh, leaf will turn yellow from inwards and a telltale sign is it'll start curling. I very rarely diagnose magnesium deficiency in plants, but when I do, I say yes, Epsom salts is a good source of magnesium. But is it gonna make your plant sweeter? Is it gonna cure everything? No, in fact, like I said, it could burn your plants. It could actually uh, bind up your calcium. You look at Mulder's chart, it's a really fun chart if you wanna have fun. It looks, it, you look at it and basically if you increase or decrease nutrients, it shows the effects on those around it. So keep a balance, right? If you add compost every year, you probably don't have a magnesium deficiency. Usually the only soils with magnesium deficiency are gonna be acidic or sandy soils. If you add compost, you're gonna be fine. So remember, don't add it unless you have a deficiency. All right, next one. That's gonna cure and solve all your plant problems. Not down here eggshells right eggshells yes eggshells have calcium about two grams per eggshell so that's calcium problem is they take forever and ever and ever to break down like years to break down you see them mix oh mix it with water spray your plants all right you're not getting calcium so yes you could add it to your compost bin it'll take years to break down if you really seriously have a calcium deficiency you need to act really fast because calcium is basically the building block of cells. Your plants, new growth is gonna just wither and die. So a uh, way to add calcium is lime or uh, gypsum. I don't have a problem with lack of calcium, a lot of calcium carbonate, in fact, too much calcium. And remember, blossom end rot isn't caused by lack of calcium, it's caused by the plant's ability to utilize the calcium in the soil. Um, it moves basically from the soil into the plant and it's not mobile in the plant. So it's not gonna bounce around in the plant. Magnesium does, it'll move to the older to newer. That's why you see the symptoms on older stuff. So go ahead, put your eggshells in the compost bin. If you're really lacking calcium, don't use them because they won't work and you better get something on your plants in your soil quick. All right, last one, I'm standing in front of coffee. Coffee grounds, used to acidify soil, used to deter slugs, wrong. Actually use coffee grounds are neutral. They have a pH of seven. If you need to acidify your soil, drop that pH, add soil sulfur, but you can add coffee grounds, use coffee grounds to your compost, about 2% nitrogen. So yes, there is some nitrogen. Does it deter snails and slugs? No, a study way, way, way back actually showed they were using the caffeine in coffee grounds and that is what could kill. And we know that caffeine can is a, a toxin in certain um, levels. So go ahead, use your coffee grounds, use your eggshells, put them in the compost bin. But those are three things you see out there that are gonna cure all your plant problems and they're not. So hopefully that clarifies and clears things up for you.